but if your clutch cable broke, and that you've didn't got a tuner happen on the bike. because of the tuner, tuner on the bike, right. and so the the service rider can call technical services even on a blocked bike. Even on a blocked van and, and, and start and the process it, of authorization it, to get repair. it pushed through. Welcome back to the DK Custom Products channel. My name's Kevin, I'm here with Hoodie, and we're gonna talk about a subject that you brought up with me on the phone maybe six months ago, and I've been looking forward to this video probably more than any other video. Before we get into this uh, very controversial subject, if you could please like, comment, and subscribe to the video, we'd appreciate it, it helps us out a lot. So, the subject is, there is a belief that I've had, that I've been told, that I think I've read in a dozen different places, that if I put something on my engine, exhaust, different headers, different slip-ons, an air cleaner that is not EPA approved, uh, a PowerVision tuner, an FP3, FP4 tuner, all these things since 2017, I believe, the belief is, is that when you put any of those things on your bike and you take it to a dealership, that that bike is going to get flagged and that your entire powertrain warranty is going to be voided. I think 98% of the people out there believe that what I just said is true. And you told me that that is not true. So tell me what is true. Well, it, the word voided never gets used in, in, in the service world um, behind the scenes. Uh, when we pull something up and, well, let's start with a visual inspection. Uh, it's up to the individual dealerships, uh, if you're following standard operating procedure, uh, to report any and all modifications on the motorcycle on the, during the walk around. Um, at that point, the, uh, if you've got a diagnostic trouble code and they plug in and you've got a tuner, it will block your VIN, but that's all that it ever says is VIN blocked. If it's still under, if it says under warranty, it'll just say VIN blocked for performance modifications. That doesn't necessarily mean that the, that everything's voted out at that point in time, but every time that you have a warranty or what might possibly be a warrantable claim, the service advisor will have to call technical services and the warranty department get an authorization every time to get the repair pushed through. Um, I've, I've actually had great success on many blocked VIN motorcycles getting the repairs pushed through and covered by the motor company. But it takes due diligence and education on the behalf of the service advisor. And most of them haven't been trained to the level maybe that I was or some others are, uh, to where you're, they're actually, or even gonna, are so busy these nowadays that they won't take time to pick up the phone to call tech services to see if they can get an authorization for the repair. Because we all know that, you know, it, you have to prove that the part called us a failure. Um, but these people will say block, they'll see blocked VIN and it doesn't matter what you bring in for all oh, your warranties voided. Your warranties voided. It just and that's not true. No, no, not so, at all. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, there are still you know emissions components and things like that that have more warranty than the motorcycle does. Uh, you know, the, believe it or not, the on the M8, for example, uh, the emissions components, fuel injectors, intake, throttle body, um, exhaust system have a five-year warranty. Really? So even if the bike is out of warranty supposedly from the two-year factory warranty the emissions warranty is five years if it's not been modified in any way shape or form and you have a failure within those years uh then the motor company will cover it uh tires uh, are covered uh, up to six or seven years as long as the uh, against manufacturers defects of course there's only a few people out there that have tires that last seven years and um we all know who they are. Uh, <laughs> we, we all know one guy like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but 
they, they will cover them uh, up to 50% tread wear before they start prorating. So the probably one of the biggest questions or comments, first people ask question, if I get a PowerVision tuner, is it going to avoid my warranty? And everybody's going to say, it, without exception, they will say, yes, it will. And so then people go, well, I'm not going to get a PowerVision tuner or I'm not going to put this air cleaner on until my warranty is expired because I don't want to void my warranty. But what you're, because they're, they're afraid that if they put a PowerVision on, they know that their bike's going to run better, but they don't know that their transmission's not going to fail or that their clutch system's not going to fail. Right. And they don't want to lose the warranty on that. But you're saying... And the, the first thing that the motor company asks for when that happens is they want a, they want a screenshot of the operating system which means is it tuned or mm -hmm. not tuned. If it's tuned, is it tuned with the street tuner? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and then kind of go from there. But automatically, here's the thing that, that got taken out of the dealership's hands was um, we used to have to report that type of thing manually. Mm -hmm. You can bet if, if there is a, uh, if your bike's ever been reported for an aftermarket exhaust, um, you might want to sit and reevaluate the relationship that you have with your dealership and maybe attitudes on both sides of the fence because somebody has called somebody and let them know. Because the only thing that the digital tech is going to report to the mothership is if there was a tune. That they is can't correct. tell anything can't, else. They can't tell if the head pipe's been changed. They can't tell if the air cleaner's been they changed. They can't tell if there's a different cam they in it. They can't tell if there's a different cam in it. All they know is, has it, and that part was reportable on our end too. Past that, now anytime you plug in digital technician, it automatically will flag a VIN number if it's tuned. It's just and automatic. It, and it'll say blocked, but that blocked. doesn't mean... That doesn't necessarily mean at that case in time uh, that uh, you couldn't push something through if you take the due diligence to do it, because I've done it. So, so a service rider can't... It, now, if the part that they added to the bike caused the problem... Then, of course, it's of not, course it's not warrantable warranty. at that point. Yes. Okay. But if, if I, I mean, there's no way that a power vision is going to cause a something issue. That is correct. So if someone has a power vision and their bike is flagged, blocked, and then they sump and have a problem. You the, would have to, as a service advisor at that point, pick up the phone, give them all the information that they want, put it up to the tech services and the warranty department at that point in time to give you an authorization to replace the parts that were damaged. Um, there was a friend of mine back in Ohio uh, that uh, had a problem on the tuned bike and we managed to get the cylinders, pistons, cam and everything replaced. And all he had was a better than stock tune because to get it to run a little cooler. Mm -hmm. And uh, we pushed it through because the tuner did not cause the something. It was everything else was exactly as it came from the factory. So we were able to get that one done. So for the for the average guy out there, for me, my bike's under warranty, and I can do anything I want to it, knowing that if what I do to it causes a problem, it's not going to be covered. So for example. Let's say that uh, my intake manifold, which is plastic now on the bikes, melted or cracked. The tune with my power vision that made my VIN get blocked, because the power vision is going to block when it's plugged into the digital tech. But it's obvious that I did not have so lean of a tune from the power vision that it caused my intake manifold to melt. So there's no way that the power vision caused it to melt. How do I get that uh, part covered under warranty when my VIN is blocked? And again, it goes to the diligence, the due diligence of the service advisor handling. So if I just tell the service, ask the service advisor to please call technical. Call tech services. Tech services. And give them all the information. They'll want the VIN on the bike. They'll want this. Um, and you can say, them, yeah, okay, we've we've got a we got a blocked VIN number, but this uh, problem is not yeah, from this that. This is not, you know, there's no way to relate that to that. 
Um, at that point, that's where it gets the ball rolling and, 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 you know, staying on it. It's mm-hmm. and just like a goodwill, uh, you know, um, that's another option that can get used. Right. Even when there. warranties are up, I've seen them still warranty it as, uh, a, good, yeah, as a, a good, as a goodwill will. authorization. Right. Yeah. So it, it's, uh, it, it really goes down to training, um, and due diligence on the advisors that, that the people are your, the, you know, customer facing, um, your first point of contact in that dealership, you know, if you don't have a great experience with one service advisor, by all means, move to another one. Uh, uh, and, and, you know, that, because that's always going to be within the dealership structure, your, your service advisors or your pals, which are your parts and labor specialists, uh, if they set it up that way. Those guys are, are, are the front line. And uh, you want to try to find the most competent guy uh, and somebody who's not afraid to ask the motor company for help. Uh, or to look at things from a from a logical perspective, and get the input from master level techs, put the best diagnosis, you know, the best diagnosing tech you can on it, uh, so that when they do, and they do frequently talk to tech services and figure stuff out, and you would be surprised what those technicians can get pushed through because of their knowledge. Um, so nowhere does it say that if I put aftermarket exhaust, aftermarket air cleaner, aftermarket tuner. Is my powertrain warranty voided? It does now in the global warranty, but it never says it in the, I mean, it'll state it in paperwork uh-huh. buried somewhere. But when you go to talk, it never tells you voided warranty when you're when looking you, at it. When you're looking at it as a number of blocks writer. for performance modifications, but blocked doesn't necessarily mean voided. Um, so then if the problem occurred because of the part you put on, it's quite... Pro, uh, quite, it's supposed to be voided. It shouldn't be covered. You did something to the bike that caused the bike to have a problem. That's not Harley's fault. But if your clutch cable broke, and that you've didn't got a tuner happen on the bike. because of the tuner. tuner on the bike, right. And so the, the service rider can call technical services even on a blocked Bike, even on a block then and, and, and start the process it, of authorization. It, get it pushed through. So yep. done it myself more than a few times. Uh, had my service advisors that were under me later on have it, you know, success with doing that. So it's your bike. It's your Harley. You should not wait for two years to make it your own, waiting for that warranty to be up because you don't want to do anything to your bike that's going to cause it to have a problem. And the probability is that if you put a power vision, air cleaner, exhaust, whatever on your bike, it's not going to cause a problem that would void the warranty. It may end up when it gets plugged into the digital tech. If you have a power vision FP3, FP4, it's going to be blocked, but that doesn't mean that the warranty is voided. So don't wait for two years to make the bike that you spent tens of thousands of dollars on be how you want it to be. And also, too, uh, to, to add to that, um, a blocked VIN number, like I said, it doesn't ever word it in there when you see it as, as voided. We, and that's, I don't, to, you know, can't get that clear enough. So hopefully you found this video useful and you'll be able to do what you want to your own bike and uh, not be worried about the warranty. You all ride safe out there. <laughs>